create general arrangement drawing. For that, go to drawing properties. Select here general arrangement drawing. Then go to here. You will get it presets. Select here steel GA 3D view. Then load it. Here it is loaded. If you want to change the title, you can change here. Otherwise, apply and click OK. Next, go to the create drawing. Select here general arrangement. Now we need to create this 3D view. Select here this isometric view. Then go to create. Within few seconds, this drawing will create. Now the drawing is created. If you go to the document manager, then go to select this GA drawing. You can see here. 3D view what we created. Now I just close this one. Again go to doc drawing properties. Then select here GA drawing. Now I select here foundation plan view. Select this foundation plan. Then go to load. Then apply and click OK. Now I just go to create drawing. Select here GA drawing, then go to here foundation planet television 0. Now go to create within few seconds. This drawing also will create. Now the drawing is created. If you go to the document manager, you can see the foundation plan view drawing. Now I just go to drawing properties, select here GA drawing. Select here elevation, GA elevation. Then go to load it. Here we are going to create grid view. Then apply and click OK. We need to load it, that is very important. Once you go to general drawing, you have to load it, that is very important. Then only you will get it all the properties already we loaded and we changed this title also. Then go to create drawing, select here GA drawing. Now I select here grid A. If you want more grid, you have to create in one drawing. Press control and you have to select like this. So if you select like this, these three drawing, this three grid drawing will create in one drawing. Single drawing, this three view will create. Now I select only one this grid A. Then I go to the create within few seconds this drawing also will create this drawing also created if you go to the document manager you can see here all the drawings by clicking here you will get it this mark and all as per order first one 3d view double click this drawing this drawing will open so now the drawing is open i just close this one cancel this one you can see this drawing is coming like this but it is bigger than this drawing sheet. I just double click this one. You will get it this drawing properties. Here it is view properties in this view these properties. Now just go here. Change this scale 100 or just make it 110. Then modify. Click OK you can see the drawing by clicking this drawing simply drag and drop it inside so this drawing is perfectly it is created now you can double click this view you will get it the view properties you can go to the label if you want to change this title and all you can go here you can change the name now i just modify remove this one then if you want to make text, I just make it here text. Remove this one. Next, go to the text. I just make it here. 3D view and click OK. Then modify. Here it is modified. If you want to change this one, select this text. Change here color, which color you want. You can change here text and all. If you go here, you will get it the font, which font you want. You can, can select that one. And I just place it like this. Similar way, this all the things here it is mark. If you want mark and if you want to change this object, which color you want, everything you can decide here. But I am not going to change anything, just click OK. So this is 3D drawing. Now I just 
save this one. If I need to go to the next drawing, click here, it will go to the next drawing. Within few seconds, this drawing also will open. Here, this drawing also open. You can see here, this is the foundation drawing. Now, you can see this drawing also, it is not accommodate properly inside this drawing sheet. Just double click this view, then go to the view properties. I just make it here scale, 100 scale, then modify. And once you finish the modification, then you can click OK. Then click OK. Now you can see here, select this one, so I click this border and just place it like this. Just click and drag and drop it inside. Now you can see this dimension is coming outside. Just click this dimension. You can drag and drop it. Similar way you can place it this also inside. Now it is placed. You can little bit also arrange like this. Now you can see here you will get it like this text. This is the mark number. This this is mark for this location. You will get it what is the beam and what is the things. Everything you will get it. What is the base plate? Everything you will get it here. But if you don't want this one, you can simply click that one and you can delete it. We don't want any mark number here. It is foundation. You can simply you can delete it. Or if you need to change, you can double click this one. You can change here how you require. Then you can see here it is coming like this. You can make this one. You can see it will come like this. Or if you change this one, you can flexible, you can make like this. So, which style you want, you can make this one. And here it is foundation drawing and dimension, everything is there. Using if you go to here dimension, you can make here horizontal and vertical dimension, everything you can make it here. Then, if you go to the annotation, you will get it here text and all. You can use the text and all. Then, if you go here, you can see here level mark weld mark section mark like that you can do here it is view in that view you can create detail and section view everything you want you can do if you need any separate details you can select that one you can do it you can see here all the things you will get it perfectly then you will get it here grid naming everything you will get it here like this see here the grid naming everything is coming like this now you can see here this grid naming clash here now you can double click this one Double click this grid. If you want to change this grid label location, just make it like this. And here it is created here. You can see here it created. But if you don't want this side, you can double click this one. Just make it modify. Here it is. You will get it here. So like that you can change. Then that properties everything you can change here if you want. Now I just close this drawing. Save this one. And I go to the drawing. Select this next drawing. So now the grid view drawing will open. Now the drawing is open. You can see here this is the drawing. But you can see a lot of marking everything is coming. Now I select this view then double click here. I just change here 200 and 200. Then modify. You will get it. This 200 200 depth only you will get it the object now you can see this one is very clear we don't have any other sheet and all you will get it all the structures everything now again double click here if you want to change the part color just go to the part then go to the appearance now i just change here color this black then hidden i just change to red i change here this is reference line, reference line also I place it in red. Then I modify. Now you will get it like this. You can see here, which is coming hidden line. The hidden lines are not showing. You can see here few hidden lines it's not showing. Now I just go to here, select here this one. You will get it all the hidden lines. Now you can see you will get it a lot of hidden, line, hidden lines. So this is a view. Now I click OK. 
if you need to increase the scale you can increase the scale but we don't want to increase now just place it like this dimensions then you you will get it all the marking and all like this if you don't want the marking you can simply select and just delete it like that select and delete it all the marks will disappear now you can place it the dimensions and all and uh, here also you can place it then you can see this is the grid you can select all the grid like this press alt and you can select like this you can place it like this then if you don't want like this level you can double click this one you can remove the level and modify if you want to show this one below you can click here you will get the grid label below so then if you need to mark level just go to annotation select here level mark you can click here and place it here you will get it like this if you need to make el dot like that if you need to make any prefix text you can make like this again go to level now i just click here you can make level here like this then the next level also you can make like this like that you can create all the levels and all if you need special section and all just go to the view you can create here section just click here click the first point click the next point create the area and i click here so now you can see here the section view you will get it select this one by clicking here you can increase this area so now you can see here your section you will get it in that if you want you can select this one double click you will get it the properties in that properties you can change the mark and you will get it the objects park bold part bold everything you can change here here it is detail if you want to take any detail you can use this one and you can create the detail see here it is coming little big you can double click this one you can make this one like this you can see it is coming like this then if you want to change this name i just change here b then modify here it is changed if you change the b here also will change automatically so this is very useful you can create any drawings like this then if you want to make this is general arrangement drawing so general arrangement drawing definitely you have to show assembly number so select this one you can go to add mark number you can use v properties or applied mark properties anyone you can use it this is applied mark properties this is h1 means this is our part number but we need it assembly number so select this one use view properties this is view properties so this is cl1 this is the assembly number if you want to show this profile size so select this one select here profile then modify you will get it the profile size if you need to make this one below just go here select this one select this one then make it move up then modify you will get it like this then click okay if you want to make another things also just select this one select this one and select here beam and select here post column like that everything you can select or you can together everything you can select and right click add mark view properties here it is created if you need it same like this select this one select this select this and modify you will get it like this if it is not moving like this just go here you can select this one only and if you modify you can move like this just click and drag and drop it wherever you want press shift and click and drag means it will together it will drag so now this is the way you can create all the assembly number here definitely you need to make assembly number in general arrangement drawing all the assembly number you have to make it including rafter and purlin everything then if you want to make these dimensions you can make this one very easily just go to the dimension select here vertical click this point and click here then press the mouse center button here it is placed place it like, like this select this one right click add dimension point wherever you want dimension point you can click the location it will add
if you see here we placed wrongly we played so we need to place this above so press shift in your keyboard then click here it will remove the dimension point so now all the dimension point we placed now i just click here also you can see here most of the dimensions are same so you can combine dimension also you can give just double click this dimension you will get it this dimension properties in that you can go here combine equal dimension you will get it here three method one is off next one is like this next one is like this if you modify you can see here all the equal same dimension it will combine like this if you don't want you can make it switch off just select this dimension that is very important then modify you will get it like this so which one you want you can select here this is the dimension properties this is the appearance and this is total properties which color text that things you will get it here if i change here this color you will get it like this if you want to save these dimensions properties you can save with your name also i just make it here dim and here it is saved now if you go to select any dimension and if you want to change the, that dimension property select this one load it then modify you will get it the same properties what we created here then similar way you can create the text also if you go to this annotation you will get it here text prop text you can just click here you can create the text normal text you can create double click this one you will get it the text properties in the you, here you can make the text these are all the thing properties color font the location everything you can change here here it is frame everything is here then here it is drawing sheet you can see here few information available and in this a title if you given the title you will get it and like that few information this is a tecla default template this one you can use it but if you need any templates and all please go to tecla structure 2020 course in that i given detailed lecture about template and all so this is the way to create general arrangement drawing